last Sunday night, the 24th of April, um, a white laser sedan was stolen from a car yard at Springwood. Since that time, this vehicle's been uh, used in a number of armed robberies, uh, quite violent armed robberies. That are, uh, the consistency of the armed robberies is it seems similar to modus operandi. Uh, a steel bar has been used, and uh, on a, no a couple of the armed robberies, uh, attendants at uh, these premises have been injured. There was four um, armed robberies committed in uh, the metropolitan south region and three in the Logan area, all by these attendants. It's quite concerning because these happen in a short space of time and they seem quite desperate in their actions that they go from one premises to the other. Uh, and what's vulnerable is uh, that these premises are obviously after hours, they're 7-Eleven, service stations and the like, but uh, it's, we're quite convinced from uh, the CCTV footage we've got and witnesses that there's the same group. Not unfortunately, we've had two attendants at separate uh, premises at McKenzie and Roachdale at uh, the Roachdale uh, Coles Express and uh, the service station at McKenzie Mac at Calabar Road. Both attendants were injured by uh, these offenders using violence. Um, luckily, they're not seriously injured, but in saying that, they went to hospital and had scans, and uh, uh, obviously, they're not. Uh, they don't uh, hesitate in using violence. You know At this point in time, it's not a large sum of money, so again, they're quite desperate. Uh, they, uh, they've they robbed things from um, Pizza Hut. They've tried to gain entrance to bottle shops. Um, so they're just, what I'd say, really on a rampage. At this stage, we believe uh, some uh, 10 10 instances at this stage that we're aware of. Uh, that's all on the south side of Brisbane and in the Logan area. This car was stolen last Sunday night, the 24th. They started off with an armed robbery at Wynnum. Uh, these offenders are wearing hoodies, uh, oftentimes wearing gloves, but um, as I say, there's CCTV and uh, a number of avenues that we're looking at and we're obviously calling on the public that would know these uh, persons that are somewhat desperate. We're obviously very concerned that a attendant at one of these premises is going to be hurt again and that's why we've called the public. We've uh, currently got a task force in place. Tonight uh, we'll have a large team of uh, police working, um, looking for this vehicle because we think they will re-offend. So it's Metropolitan North, Metropolitan South and the Logan area that particularly will be involved in the task force. Um, as I said, there'll be a lot of police out patrolling, looking for anything uh, and, and acting on any information we receive. Just concerned about these uh, soft targets, if you like, Premises that are open after night, uh, after hours, the single ten attendants, they're very vulnerable and all I can say to them is be very mindful of anyone acting suspiciously. There's nothing to say that they may use a different vehicle tonight or in nights to come. Um, obviously be vigilant. Uh, they, as I said, they tend to wear these dark hoodies, cover their face with shirts um, and gloves are often used. So anyone that sees anything suspicious like that, please let us know. At this stage there's been uh, consistently three involved but there was this morning a sighting of four offenders so at this stage up to four offenders. We'll put as many crews out there as we can. Uh, tactical crime units will be involved as well. So, uh, in saying that it does appear to be four persons that are committing all these. So it's not widespread involvement that we know of.